What's up YouTube? Uh, today we're going to be making a video to go over the basic setup for mouse and keyboard um, on the Kronos Zen. So um, I've seen so many questions about how to set up a mouse and keyboard on the Zen and why this or that doesn't work or how to do specific things. So we're going to try to cover everything best we can. Um, and to start with that, you're going to want to go to the uh, Cronus Max website right here, cronusmax.com, and you're going to go to support here, and then Cronus Zen Guide. Okay, so this guide right here is the main user guide, troubleshooting guide, all of that stuff for the Cronus Zen. So you can find everything here: how to set up your console, different input devices, Zen Studio things. Um, some videos here, troubleshooting, all kinds of stuff, how to set it up on a Mac. Everything you probably need to know will be in this guide if you read it. So I recommend going through your specific console that you play on, the specific input devices that you want to use, um, and really just give it a good read. It, it'll help you with so many things. So we're going to go here to keyboard and mouse, mouse and keyboard. <clears throat> and there's a few things that they want to make pretty clear okay first of all when you're tuning your mouse um, don't have any game packs on yet right let's just uh, get it feeling good before we start using game packs is kind of what we want to do um, Cronus yeah so this is a good one to remember because this is one of the biggest questions I see and it says remember that the Cronus Zen digitally converts mouse and keyboard signals to raw controller input outputs so your mouse will always appear as a controller to your console or PC what that means is that it's gonna take all of the inputs that you give on your keyboard and mouse and make it a controller basically so one of the biggest things I've seen especially in Fortnite for some reason is people say they can't use their key binds on the Zen. Well, that's because you're trying to use PC key binds and you don't have all of the same buttons available to you as you did when you were using mouse and keyboard without the Zen because you can only use the buttons that are on a controller. So keep that in mind. You, you lose that functionality when you go to the mouse and keyboard on the Zen. Um, but you gain some other good things obviously <clears throat> uh, your polling rate and DPI we'll go over that here in a little bit uh, check the mouse and keyboard community there's good setups there and all of that stuff so definitely recommend checking that out um, aim assist so it's it, it says aim assist is designed for controllers not mice don't waste a second of your time trying to use aim assist with a mouse why and it's explained in this forum post uh, they say don't use it it's up to you to try it or not i know one of the main things people want to use mouse and keyboard for when you're on a zen is to gain aim assist because you kind of always hear that well if you had aim assist uh on mouse and keyboard it would be super overpowered so try it if you want to i do recommend reading this article though and then PC support. This is basically saying you need a separate mouse and keyboard for your uh, PC and for your Zen if you're playing on a PC. You can't just have them both plugged into your computer and expect it to work because you need to plug these devices directly into your Zen. You can get a keyboard and mouse like a, a USB switcher, about 20 bucks, um, if you don't want to buy a second set of keyboard and mouse. So. Uh, recommended settings we'll go over this here um, but basically DPI is kind of a however you feel so you set your DPI based on what you like and we'll we'll mess with that a little bit later but you want to make sure you're setting these um, as uh, presets in your um, mouse and keyboard uh, software so that you can easily switch through them uh, recommend you start on 4,000 but you can go all the way up to 16,000 DPI polling rate though on the other hand is a little bit more specific um, for instance Xbox one has a polling rate of 125 Hertz so if you're playing on Xbox one you want to make sure you set your mouse polling rate to 125 Hertz PS4 is 250 um, 
and uh, PCs a thousand. So the closer you can get to those numbers, the better it'll feel for you. But um, it, like it says, 250 hertz to a thousand hertz is a, a big difference on the console. So you want to have that lower polling rate on the console if possible. Uh, and then again, DPI, 4,000, 12,000, 16,000, that's going to be a feel thing for you. It's all, all about how it feels for you. This part talks about setting it up in your uh, mouse settings, which we'll go over here in a little bit. Um, <clears throat> basic mouse and keyboard setup, so we'll go over this later too. But this is basically how you set it up. Your mouse goes into this uh, A2 port, keyboard into A3. If you're playing on console, your authentication controller will go here into A1. I don't have that currently because I'm going to be playing on PC. Uh, this is your program port to your PC, and then this will go to your console, this back port. For me, how it's wired is there's no controller, uh, and then this port is also wired to my PC. So this goes PC, this goes with my PC, and then keyboard and mouse here. This part goes into um, some information on Zen Studio, how to get to your mouse and keyboard settings, uh, and then it just runs through all of those things. Mapping your buttons, button assignments, movement, um, and we're going to go through all of this uh, through this setup. Um, and mouse and mouse tuning, dead zone adjustments, we're going to go through all of that stuff. So. I just want to go over the guide really quickly with you guys. Um, this is a great source of information uh, and I do highly recommend that you read it. And now let's go ahead and jump into my mouse software and do the setup for the mouse software. Okay, so here we are in the Corsair um, software. This is the mouse that I have, the Harpoon RGB Pro. Um, and basically what you're going to want to do is just you know create the profile you want to create or just have this as your default profile whichever one but we're going to go into dpi and as you can see here um, i have my uh, button on my mouse it's this button right here and it controls uh, the different different dpi settings so it's a switch that just bounces between these so uh, stage one i have it on a thousand that's for just moving around my mouse but if I'm actually playing, I could switch between 4,000, 8,000, and 12,000. So 12,000 is my max DPI. So I just set it at these stages. Obviously, you can come in here and go through all of these and set them to your liking. But these are good uh, presets to, to use. And then if I go into my device settings, you can see my polling rate's 1,000 hertz right here. Um, but I can switch between 125, 250, 500, and then 5,000. So if I was playing on one of the consoles, I would uh, change that here and then save that profile. Okay. So that's your mouse settings. You want to make sure this, these, all these settings save before you start playing. And uh, next up, we'll get into Zen Studio and set up for that. Okay. So here we are in Zen Studio. And I got a camera on to show kind of my cluttered setup for now and it's only this cluttered because I'm trying to fit it all inside of the video but here I'll bring my Zen over here to kind of show where all the wires connect okay so this wire up here at the top this will go to your console for me it's I'm playing on PC so it's just gonna go to my PC but this will go to whatever console you're playing on this wire over here on the right side this always goes to your PC this is your programming port this is how your Zen connects to Zen studio and it always goes to your PC. It doesn't have to be connected with this uh, programming port while you're playing, but while you're doing anything inside of Zen Studio, it needs to be connected. My A2 port here, this goes to my mouse, which is this Corsair here. My uh, A3 port, this goes to my keyboard, which is this um, Razer keypad here, okay? Um, on this left side, there's a port right here. If you're playing on console, this is where your authentication controller would go. So I'm not playing on console, so I don't need one, but that's where it would go um, if you were playing on console. So I'm gonna slide this out of the way. And then how I kind of have my setup here, keyboard connected to PC, mouse connected to PC, keypad uh, connected to the Zen, mouse connected to the Zen, okay? 
Okay, so now that we are in Zen Studio, we're going to go to this plugins tab up here. We're going to go to mouse and keyboard settings. And then this window will pop up. So this pops up and it just tells you some information. If you click yes here, it'll go to the guide that we reviewed earlier. So you can just go ahead and click no. So first thing, you want to make sure your devices are connected. Keyboard, I have my Razer. Mouse, I have my Corsair. Console is going to be Xbox because I'm playing on PC. Okay. So that's kind of step one. If it doesn't, you can hit rescan right here and it'll rescan for your uh, devices. Um, once they're connected to your Zen, there's like a little green light um, on the front where the ports are. Uh, it'll light up green when they're connected. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our um, keyboard buttons. Okay. So right trigger. So this is usually your fire button. So we don't want to assign it to a, uh, a keyboard. We want to use that one for our mouse, right? So keyboard, we're going to skip right trigger and left trigger. You can set them, but um, there's no point really, unless you wanted to use it on a keyboard for that button. So uh, right stick, left stick. So this kind of uh, is your button press, right? Your left stick button, your right stick button, you press in. Okay, so you can uh, like say this is your run button. If you double click it here, now it says listening, and then say I want to map it to, uh, we'll say this button. So this on my keyboard is a tab, but on, on the keypad it just says the number six. Okay, so left stick, double click it with and look at what mouse I'm using to control this is my computer mouse not my game mouse right so you double click and then once it says listening then you use your output devices right your keyboard and mouse that you're gonna be gaming with so I'm gonna change this to this um, RB we're just gonna go here we're just gonna change some of these things right uh, Let's do this. B. Oops. We're just going to kind of go through these. I don't know exactly what they're all doing, but it's just to kind of show you guys what we're using. So left stick. So now we're going to look at movement really quick. And this is the same way. So this is your movement. You're up, back, left and right, right? So I have a little joystick right here on the side of my mouse that I'm going to use for movement. But you could do the same thing. So we double click it. It's listening. So here's W on mine. It's the number eight. So I can set it as W, but I can also set it as up on this joystick. Left, right, down. So I, I set these as those things. Okay. So now when we go to our mouse buttons, right? So now we're going right trigger, left trigger, right? So uh, right trigger is your uh, typically your uh, fire button. So we want to make sure that's our fire button. We'll make sure it's fire button. There we go. Left trigger is typically your mouse too. Now you can also set any of those same buttons to any of the extra buttons on your mouse if you wanted to, right? Um, so that's setting up buttons and again you just set these to however you like you know you can play with that set it to your keyboard however however you like so then we're gonna go over to mouse tuning so this is something we're gonna do more in game okay so I'll have this window open in game and we can kind of mess with how we like you know you can adjust your sensitivity here you can adjust your um, ADS to hip ratio. You can uh, adjust acceleration and mouse smoothness. Dead zone is something we have to talk about um, in the game as well. So I know that I'm going to set my dead zone currently to a, um, to a zero because uh, I guess one's low so you can go. And, and because I'm going to play on no dead zone. Okay. So. 
Another thing you can do in lieu of sensitivity, this is kind of where your DPI comes in. So you want to get a good DPI and then fine tune with your sensitivity. Okay. Um, one other thing for this is that we want to be sure that we um, keep into account um, how we have our dead zone set and that has to match in game. And then uh, we need to save. So the other thing we want to do is finalize our layout. So we'll click finalize layout. Nothing's changed. So my layout's finalized. You can also export and import layout. So you can export your layout just in case you don't want to uh, mess with your settings again sometimes and maybe your Zen resets. I, I recommend exporting your layout once you get it where you want it. Okay. So the uh, one other thing I want to mention with this is your in-game settings need to match as best as possible. So your dead zone is going to match whatever your dead zone is here. But as far as your sensitivity in game, you just want to put it on whatever the max sensitivity is for your controller in game. And then this sensitivity is just for your for your gaming mouse. So what we're going to do now is we're going to jump into Apex and the firing range and mess around with this. Again, no mods are on the Zen yet. This is just getting a feel for the movement and everything and then we'll add a mod and then we'll come back and, and play with that too so let's go into the firing range all right so here we are in the firing range and as you can see i'm controlling with uh my zen peripherals um so this i was kind of testing a little bit and it still okay to me again i'm not a mouse and keyboard player but um, like when I shoot, it feels a little choppy. So I'm gonna try to turn my smoothness down a little bit, but this is what I'm talking about. See how it kind of jumped there a little bit. So I'm gonna go in, as you can see, I'm in uh, tab over here. I'm in Zen Studio still with my controls open. So I'm going to go to my mouth smoothness. I'm going to turn this down a little bit. I oh, didn't mean to move it. There we go. I'm going to turn it down to maybe about a 60. And then again, you just hit finalize layout. And then we'll go back in the game. And that feels actually a little bit smoother. Yeah. So yeah, that feels pretty smooth. I'm hitting my other mouse with the cord, so it's throwing my aim all off. But again, I'm not a PC player, or mouse and keyboard player, rather. So don't judge me too much. But, um, so yeah. As you can see, it says X, press X to pick up. I am playing controller. Or controller settings rather <clears throat> so let me move it back over to these so you can see what my settings are so if you go to controller here um, just max out your sensitivity your uh, look sensitivity and your ADS sensitivity trigger Z zones I have none and then you want to make sure you go to yeah, my ALCs are off. Um, movement dead zone, small. Look dead zone, none. <coughs> Response curve, classic. So those are kind of the settings that you can do. Yeah, that's a lot better. So again, there's a lot of tuning that needs to be done, but you can already see that this is a whole lot better. Yeah. Much, much better. And you can also mess with like the micro stuff, uh, the micro recoil stuff. But yeah, having this better so what, uh, what else you could do also is um, 
if you want to play with the small dead zone, you can do that, and you just increase the dead zone in your um, in your mouse and keyboard settings on Zen. So this is working a whole lot better now that I matched the in-game settings. So it, I mean, it would take it would take some fine tuning still. Obviously, I'm not a keyboard player. But um, I think that this is a good enough video to get you guys started to uh, see what needs to be done, all the little steps and things. So, like I said, like if if my adjustments weren't feeling right, I can increase sensitivity. I can increase. Um, uh, I can increase smoothness. You know, all of those settings that are over here. Oops tab over all of the settings that are in in here in Zen studio so and and they change on the fly too right so if I needed uh, you know some more oops that's acceleration we don't want to move that one if I wanted to you know turn the smoothness up a little bit turn my sensitivity up a little bit then you just hit uh, apply up here. It'll say done down here. Go back into game. Let's explore this way. Didn't mean to do that. Maybe that feels a little better. I gotta remember where, how, what keys I mapped to what. Yeah. So. I mean, just got to play with it. Set your settings for what you like. See, I'm kind of all over the place, so this is probably... But, anyways. That's a good, uh, good, good way to get you guys started. Again, make sure you map your keys correctly. They match in-game. Your dead zone matches in-game. Sensitivity is all the way up. And then, Make sure you know what Zen keys you need, like to get into Zen menus and things like that. A or A, B, your uh, view, touchpad buttons, your, you know, start all the all of those menu buttons that you need. Make sure you have them mapped correctly. And uh, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, if you guys like it, please leave a like. I really would appreciate it. Uh, thanks for all the support so far. I'll leave a link to my discord uh, in the description below so you can jump on and uh, Ask any questions you might have we have a pretty cool community over there. That's helping each other out. So um, That's gonna be it for me and as always I'll see you on the next one